I Am Mother tells the story of a girl who is raised in an underground compound by a robot with the intention of repopulating the Earth after an extinction event. Thin Design worked in conjunction with Blockhead and Kojo to bring this project to our screens. Thin Design worked closely with the director and Weta Workshop to create the look for the robot mother. From this, Weta produced a practical robot suit and Thin built a CG version which was used for action or stunt scenes. Of the 220 VFX shots Thin produced, about 80 of these were of the robot mother. Precision was key in creating the CG replica of the practical suit. They took laser scans and photographs of the practical suits to ensure that the material, shaders and textures matched perfectly. Many shots cut rapidly from the real suit to the CG suit and back again, so any inconsistencies would stand out and effectively bump the audience from the film. In order to avoid this, the suits didn't just have to be identical, they had to move identically too. Although it was fairly simple to get the CG suit to move smoothly, unfortunately Luke Hawker, the actor in the robot suit, doesn't move smoothly. He has character and body language, subtle nuances that had to be reproduced. Finn did a character study of Luke and rigged it to create a CG version of the suit that could mimic him perfectly. Finn managed to have just one lighter and one animator working on 200 plus shots without compromising speed or quality. They did this by creating a robust animated pipeline for this project, which allowed animators to push their work through lighting and comp. So if a shot didn't have a specific light rig made for it, they could automatically apply a generic light rig that suited the whole film. Please be sure to give us a like if you enjoyed this video, don't forget the links to the music used in this video are in the video description, and please let us know in the comments which movie VFX you'd like to see behind next.